Today is a day to talk about the greatness of Jalen Brunson, not just in Game 5 last night, but what we've seen in this postseason and the fact that the New York Knicks are one win away hmm. from their first Eastern Conference Finals appearance since 2000. And they're going to get it because Brunson's healthy now. That was my only fear. That was my only concern. That was my only trepidation with this team, pushing them forward. Jalen Brunson's back to being Jalen Brunson. It was so obvious, you know, the pop and the burst and the stopping on dimes and the stops and the starts. He, he was he was sublime last night. He is absolutely amazing. There's not enough platitudes to throw his way. I mean, we, we keep doing this and Wait. we keep trying to determine, well, is, is it Jeter? Is it like, I, I don't know. But I do know that what this guy's given us, what this guy's showing us, and, and he's not even done, is... I mean, maybe maybe has been matched by one or two other people in the last 40 years in this city. We're in the midst of watching greatness. Yeah. Forget, forget about what it projects, not even just this year. I'm talking about moving forward, like how great it could be, the legacy. Right now, we have been in, starting with really game three as he started to come out of the funk after the first two games where he was not himself against the Philadelphia 76ers, but then really starting with that game three and moving forward, game four, terrific performance. Game six, you saw what Jalen Brunson could do, and then on in this series. And even in the second half in game two, I told you there was reason why I believed that Brunson could get the job done and would get the job done last night. It was because of what you saw when he came back in game two, even in game three in Indiana. What we're witnessing here is greatness where you want to stack it up in New York sports lore. Where do you want to compare it in Knicks history? doesn't really matter. We know though, it's not just him winning games. It's not just a, ter a terrific performance night in night out. This is record breaking stuff that Jalen Brunson is doing consistently through now the first two rounds of the postseason. There is only one comp, honestly, and it, it really doesn't even matter, but it's, it's an interesting point of reference. It's not Patrick. It's not even Clyde who, when Willis Reed limped out and banged in, two jump shots to start that game, then it was the Clyde Frazier show. It's really just Bernard King. That that little snippet while Bernard King was in his absolute physical prime uh, before he ripped up his knee against the Sacramento, against the Kansas City Kings. That was the series against the Pistons where Bernard averaged about 43-44. He had multiple broken fingers. If you do, if you check on YouTube, he's got like four fingers taped together. Uh, he had the flu and he didn't have a whole lot around them. That's it. Well, like so that, that, not Reed, not the Busher, not Bradley, not Frazier, not Pearl, not Patrick, not Mello. Nobody, nobody except King for one week has done this in Knicks history. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm not familiar with it. Obviously, I know about Bernard King, but I wasn't watching it back then the way that I am, certainly now yep. over, the, over the last 30-plus years. Did it correlate to winning? Because in my mind, it was always, well, King was great, but he was just a great scorer, more like Carmelo Anthony. Yeah, no, no, no. It directly correlated to winning. They they beat the Pistons. Now, this was young Similar Isaiah. Similar to what Brunson is doing here, where he's basically the MVP and taking this team There's on no his back. Doubt. There's no doubt. There okay. was a point, and it was only for a minute or so, and you got to talk to the old heads who played. Yeah. Like, you know, if you talk to if you talk to Bird, if, you know, if Moses Malone was still with us, like those guys, so right? it wasn't just empty scoring. They'll say Bernard King was the MVP, and for right. a year or two, okay. Bernard, for a year, Bernard was the best player in the NBA. They beat the Pistons, and then and then they lost. And and I, I mean, you 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 were you you were barely born. I was young, so um, they lost to the Celtics, and I believe they lost in seven. I know they won a couple of games, and I remember one of the Celtics said that Bernard would never score thirty again, and he went out, went out and he dropped forty. And that was that was mid that was just before the mid eighties, like eighty three, eighty four, vintage Apex Bird, Mikhail Parrish, Dennis Johnson, Danny Ainge. I mean, that, that's what Bernard was doing. That that is it. No one else. All the numbers in the Raptors, not even close. What this guy's delivering, it is insane, and only one other person's done it ever in the history of the Knicks. It, it is, and he's doing it longer than Bernard. It is remarkable, and, and we don't know how far they're going to go, and that's why I no, said No, no, we do. Today, well, we do. They're going to lead to the conference finals. My only fear in stamping this well, they're a still win. Get a win. No, no, they're getting it because Brunson's healthy. That was my only fear. And now and, and that's gone. That is alleviated. Now he is healthy. The snap is back. And the paces are done. I don't know if it's game six. I don't know if it's back here Sunday, game seven. Knicks will be playing the Celtics in the Eastern Conference Finals, and we'll worry about that series when we get there. But the Knicks are advancing. And I got I gotta tell you, the the Pacers now are trying to do something, and DiVincenzo touched on this post game, and he's so right. They're trying to be something that they're not. They're trying to be tough. They're trying to match the intensity and that 
that that dogness, if you will, and the toughness of Did the New York Knicks. Play last and night? you can't. He played, but he oh, was he soft. Did? Oh, I didn't know. All of a sudden, Miles there. Turner thinks he's a big badass. Well, Ma- Yo, oh, yeah. okay. I know he played great with those three, th- those three straight threes that just start the third. I got a little worried, but now he's chirping. Pacers don't want this physical smoke. They can score. They can run up and down the court. You, if Brunson's healthy, and the Knicks are playing the way they played since really opening tip this year. They're not losing the series. There, there's a lot of layers to the game that we will get to as the show goes on here. It's going to be all Knicks, obviously, all day. But it all starts, I felt this way, into the postseason. Obviously, even after games one and two against Philadelphia, we've talked about it ad nauseum here. But it's all about Jalen Brunson and his superstardom, as long as he does that. Now, it is a lot to ask. So for you to say, and I do think, I, look, I thought the Knicks were going to win the series in five. I didn't back off of that, you know, as far as them not winning the series, even after the, the two games that they lost in Indiana. Mm-hmm. But clearly, they couldn't win it in five. Whether they win in six or seven doesn't matter. Just got to get past Indiana here. But they do need Brunson to do what he did last night at least one more time in this series to win. And it's hard to expect that of somebody. However, he's continually done it here. Yep. Yep. Think about what's going on with Jalen Brunson. He has 30 points basically before you know it in the first half. It's ridiculous how good he's been. And it was the whole variety, too. You know, when when – you know when he when that flame is starting to get ratcheted up a little bit. Usually, like the first bucket or two, you know, just barely inside the free throw line, a little, you know, 13, 14 footer, maybe a floater, you know, maybe sticks a little bit of a longer three. When you know that Brunson's getting ready to crank that thing up, is when he gets one or two end ones, where now it's the yo yo, the the hesitation, the back and forth goes to the rim, off the backboard, and the foul. Now you know it's lights out because once you do that, once he does that. Now the paces are like, oh, man, all right, he's got that burst back. So now we got to lay off a little bit here because he's going to get biased. And now we start laying off. Boom, lefty daggers. He looked good when he came back in the second half of game two. He looked fine to me in game three. Game four, maybe he was just tired. I mean, we talked about the injury in the foot. Maybe he was just tired and then sitting out the fourth quarter in game four, having the day of rest. And now, by the way, big key here, Knicks have two yes. days of rest, which should yes. help them yes. more than anybody else, yep. specifically Brunson before Indiana. I would not be shocked if you get another A-plus Knicks effort. They they hit their little adversity. We talked about that being last night a season-defining game, and I think that it was. Regardless of how the rest of the series plays out, the Knicks responded after getting there. They got punked in Indiana in game four. Yep. They basically admitted that, where they're saying, hey, the Pacers did what we usually do. We watched film. We didn't accept it. We went out there and enforced our will against them. And obviously, Jalen Brunson was the lead star, as he's always been. Our friends at Town Fair Tire remind you that at Town Fair Tire, you always get the guaranteed lowest price on name brand tires from Connecticut to Maine. Nobody beats Town Fair Tire. Nobody. Knicks are one win away. That's amazing. From the Eastern Sal, real, Conference real, real, real quick, before you get that call, did you hear it when they said it last night? I, there was one point in the broadcast, in the telecast, where... The five Knicks on the floor, and I, I, I don't think it was Stan Van Gundy. I, I can't take Stan Van Gundy. Yeah, he's... There, there's one Van Gundy that matters, and it ain't Stan. <laughs> That's it. I, I, I can't stand him yeah. on games. I can't. Yeah. Uh, but uh, what's the other dude's name who I like? Brian... Uh, what's Anderson? It? Uh, Anderson, right? Is that right? his name? He's great. He's very yeah. good. He meets the moment. I think he, he, he fits the theater. He's, he's good. And mechanically, he sounds... He said at one point, he said... There are five guys on the court right now. The Knicks are a win away from the – this is like when the game was basically right. in the bag. The Knicks are a win away from the Eastern yeah. Conference Finals. And of the five on the court, one was a starter on opening night because Mitch was in there. Now he's hurt. Hartenstein right. was there. RJ. Deuce was on the floor. You had Barrett. You had Randall. One guy. Think about that. Yeah. And people still try to shade Tom Fibino. I mean, it come does. on. No, it's ridiculous. The Knicks did what they had to do, bounce back in a big way. And – and – not as not more importantly than Brunson, but almost as important, the defense. Right out of the gate, you knew it was going to be different with the Knicks playing defense. We'll get into the different layers of the game and how they want and what they need to do moving forward. But to me, it's about Jalen Brunson and the fact that the New York Knicks are now one win away from their first Eastern Conference Finals appearance in 24 <laughs> years. Think about that. You bing-bongers weren't even born. Ron is in Baltimore. What's up, Ron? Sal and BT, I want it for these guys. I want it for these guys. Shout out to Deuce McBride for giving Jalen Brunson the space he deserves and picking up Halliburton full court, giving the Pacers a taste of their own medicine. Deuce McBride, that's what you have to do. You need to set screens. As great as Brunson is when he's healthy, we need to free this guy up and make these guys pay. I love the screens, the whole game. I thought Hardenstein, I will never forget the 12 offensive rebounds to the Pacers five. 
And last thing on Alec Burks, I just want to say this to all the Alec Burke haters. Yes, he stunk in the regular season, but we saw this with Alec Burks. He is not afraid, and he can get buckets. He is not afraid, and he can come clutch in the postseason. So shout out to Big Money AB for yeah. staying ready, and let's go BT. Let's win this at six. Oh, Roddy boy, let's go BT. I love well, it. What about me? Hey, Sal was wearing Sal. a uniform. Now, Sal, 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 by the way. I'm, I'm, Sal, you're in this together with us. Let's go, baby. Well, there you, you go. Think? I mean, geez. <laughs> We're going to include you, Sal. Oh, my God. I mean, one thing I will not tolerate is the, dis- the disrespect. I'm as diehard a Nick fan as anybody. You just you Because you can't take it when we call it how it is. I, that's not my problem. That's you being soft. You know what? Why don't you tough it up like the team that you root for and accept that not everything is rosy, especially with a franchise that's been down for 25 years, for goodness sake. My God. You know, Ron said something really interesting, right? And by the way, Alec Burks sucks, okay? I know that he had two good games here and could score some points, but he sucks. Let's not make it like all the, all the Alex Burke, Alec Burks haters. This is not about Alec Burks. Well, about here's the thing. Well, hold on a second. It's yeah. not about Alex Burks being really good. Yeah. I, that, that's not Ron's point. That's not my point. Well, it shouldn't is, even it, no, bring no, him but, up. But, 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 no, no, it's no, the it, first 13 minutes of the show. I'm talking about Brunson. No, 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 but that man, does, that man deserves respect. Yeah. I mean, he didn't play a second, and he has been inserted out of necessity into yeah. a pressure cooker. And th- like to not, I'm not saying you don't, but it doesn't sound like you actually, so maybe you don't respect them. Alec Burks, to me, is the epitome of professionalism. Right. That guy's getting shots up. That guy's running. That guy's lifting. That guy's locked in when he had no reason to be locked in. Hey, get a tap on the shoulder. You got to play. Bang. Great game. Boom. Great game. I respect the hell out of that. Yeah, okay. and we all do. Yeah, I mean, there will be you don't disre- you, the disrespect for. I will tolerate not an ounce right. of Alec Burke's disrespect today. When not Alec, an ounce on Alec, the show. Yeah. Not a drop. How they do in Game Four? I don't care. Alec not, Burks being not, a, not drop. Score. Please don't yeah. give me drop. Yeah. Come on. Not a drop of Alec uh, Burke's disrespect. Why are we talking about Alec Burke? Because BT? it's 14 minutes into the show. Let me let He's me say irrelevant. Forget about. I'm trying to transition from Burke's. Forget Good about God, that. I'm, just, I'm gonna have that, his back. That's my point. Now, if we're gonna do four hours of Burke's. I promise you're gonna have his yeah, back for four hours. Right. But we're not. Ron said something really interesting. He said, and it was the first thing he said. He said, I want it for these guys. Right. And you know, and I wrote, I wrote that down because I didn't want to forget it. Like. Usually, and we're, we're all the same way, we want our teams to win for us. Right. <laughs> you know, you want the Mets to win for you. You can enjoy it. It's fun. I want the Yankees, the Jets, the Knicks. Like, I want, and you want them to win for the city. I want these Knicks, I think for the first time in my life, to win more for them than for me. That's how much I love these guys. Well, I'd love to see what they do well prevail over everything else. So far, it has been. Well, that's, it's amazing. Right, and that's the point. That's why I said I don't want to talk about spinning it forward. I don't want to talk about anything in the past. Let's not talk about the injuries today or how limited they could be or people complaining about Tibbs. It is about two things. Number one, Jalen Brunson is putting on a performance that is historic. Yep. Like, there's no other way to put it. It's not just, oh, wow, what a great game for a superstar MVP. This is historic, what we are witnessing. Number two, because of that, they're one win away. The Knicks, not just Brunson, the New York Knicks. <laughs> are one win away from the conference finals. We'll worry about that if and when it does happen, but that's what it's about. And yes, it's because you can admire the fact that they play with an energy and toughness and desire and heart and passion that we love in this city. There is no team that is more in touch with this city than the Knicks yeah. because that's what we're about. So it's nice to see them play that way. Will it prevail long term? Who knows? Some had their doubts. I did. And obviously, you know, next round. Oh, so did I. I, I, I didn't think they'd win in Indianapolis without OG. It. But for now, being wrong. for now, it's not about that. And you're right. I think it's easier to root for them oh. as opposed to saying, well, I'm a Nick fan. I want yeah, to see yeah, them yeah. win for me. This crew because, is awesome. Because of them giving it their all oh. every single night. Donnie is in Wisconsin. What's up, Donnie? Wisconsin. Wow. What a win that last night, boys. Donnie, yes. what's going on, buddy? Listen, I drove four hours each way on Mother's Day to go see this game, this team get absolutely destroyed. Oof. Walking out of that game, as deflated as possible. I thought the series was over, honestly. The last night shows this team spite and grit that they are what, BT? Unkillable. That's right. <laughs> That's still breathing, buddy. I mean, they were up 30 last night. I thought Sal was going to come off the bench, but it starts to. He was now. close. He was geared up. Didn't need me last night. He was geared up. Yeah. Now, what are you wearing hey. Friday, Sal? That, this is what we need to get to here. So, Sal was – thanks for the call, Donnie. 
Sal was all geared up. Literally, he had the, the white spandex on yesterday as well. He had the satin jacket for Mitchell and Ness, the white jersey, the white shorts, which, by the way, the Knicks wore blue, and it's the blue of that I can't stand, did. that yeah. new city connect, yeah. what I say, whatever that. I don't even, there's so many uniform names, I don't even know. But I don't like that court, and I don't like those uniforms. But what are you wearing on Friday, Sal? Not sure yet, but I got something for you. Yeah, I'm sure. It'll, it'll be brother. something good. Well, yesterday go. worked, so we got to have something else out got there. Got to. And let me just say, BT, like, I... When I say Alec Burke sucks, obviously, like, like literally, I don't mean that. And he's irrelevant in the grand scheme of things, but he has done a nice job getting buckets for this team off the bench at a time where they needed it, clearly. Now, game three and game four didn't really matter because they ended up losing both those games. And even last night, it wasn't about him, but it is nice to see that a veteran, you know, who hasn't played in, in months or however long it's been, yep. does come off and score some buckets. It just drives me nuts with the callers focus on no, the No, no, I hear you. But imagine not doing yeah. a show for, like, I don't know, three months. I know it's not the same yeah. Equivalent here. I know what you're saying. No, and you then, get, like, they're like, oh, go do, uh, you know, uh, afternoon drive on Radio Row. After, I mean, of course, you do it because well, you'd be pumped up to do it, but you'd feel a little I, rusty. I, you'd I feel a little it. out Look, of whack. They, nobody, nobody, and I mean nobody, wanted to see the Knicks have to go to Alec Burks. It's not disrespectful. It's just the reality no. of... You don't want to be going to Alec Burks in the postseason. There's no doubt. You couldn't use him in a regular season. No you doubt. certainly don't want to see him in the postseason. They had to go to him, and you know what? He's put in some buckets. That's the point. Yep. Uh, Brandon is calling And that's the Knicks. Wappingers. That's these well, Knicks. Well, that's what they've done all year long. We keep thinking at some point it's going to give out. Oh, well, how much more they could take with Ananobi? And yet they go out there and have their most lopsided performance of the postseason mm-hmm. last night. What's up, Brandon? What's going on, guys? Huge bounce back win. I didn't think they'd steamroll them like that, but Sal, you said on Friday and you nailed it. This game would define the 2023 Knicks, and you were right with their backs against the wall. They punched them right in the mouth. Both of you said Brunson needed to drop 40, and he did. And I love Tibbs starting McBride. He was a great starter for us when we had our injuries in the regular season, and he was picking up Halliburton the whole game. He kept him from not shooting the three. He didn't get to shoot the ball 15 times. And other than Miles Turner getting his three uncontested threes that he hit in a row, the Knicks the Knicks defense was flawless. So I'm looking forward to game six, and hopefully they come out with a very similar game. And now, BT, and thank you for the call, Brandon. Thanks, buddy. Like, don't we – and we talked about it yesterday, like the feeling changed a little bit. As confident as you may be or or as much you may believe in this Knicks team, after watching what happened in game four – you couldn't help but have at least a little doubt. Oh, I was rattled. In. I've, no, I've I said it straight up. But now, like we talked about it, hey, what's more likely, the Pacers win a game at the Garden or the Knicks winning in Indiana? It felt like an impossibility. I don't feel like that's the case anymore. Interesting. Um, you know, I'm not saying it's going to be easy. I know what you're saying. Again, all of my fears, that, that kind of crept up out of nowhere because I've, I've been very committed to this team in, in terms of not, not only just being a fan, but believing in what they do and who they are and how they play and Tom Thibodeau and how connected they are. And I've said that for months. I, I the thing that really gave me pause was was Brunson not being Jalen Brunson. Well, an OG being out, you know, for sure. Yeah. For no, for absolutely. But without Jalen Brunson, it, at least in in my mind or on, on paper, being able to drop uh, a vintage Jalen Brunson performance, I, without OG, I I just didn't see the right. window or the avenue to win. Jalen Brunson was completely healthy last night. He was going by people. You know that the little jump shot. Uh, what was the stat that Patty gave us yesterday? Two inches fewer on his on his elevation per jump shot. The yeah, last was couple, Steph, that was Steph, back. Steph Bondi had that, and that's what yeah, made me yeah, think. You, like, you brought that up. That's yeah, right. from the post, Steph yes. Bondi had that. But then maybe he was just tired. Like you don't recover from whatever foot injury in two days. I know, but there's um. And I'm, listen, I'm not a trainer. I'm not a coach. Right. I'm not a scout. So I'm not going to sit here and pretend I can decipher 100 percent between fatigue and injury. Yeah. But the Brunson that I saw, he looked like he had a little hitch in this gate and in the last couple of games. Mm-hmm. And, and it, it, it struck me, while I'm going to stay in my lane, as much more than just being tired. And last night, the burst was back, and so were the Knicks. For a day, can we all be on the same freaking page here? Oh, we are. We're all. Uh, well, I know once you, you get on the Alec Burks page, we'll be on the I, same page, I, buddy. I, I just gave him some credit. <laughs> yeah. I mean, leave me alone. <laughs> well, Alec Burks, goodness gracious. Only you and I could yell at each other after a uh, Nick win by 30 well, about Alec Burks. I, I know, we're I know. fine. All right, BT and Sal on the fan. We'll get more of your calls on the other side, break down some of the layers. <laughs>